Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Kent. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another knife of the day. This is brand new from Spydeco. Yeah, brand new. It's the Spydeco Tropen. T-R-O-P-E-N, the Spydeco Tropen. It's brand new. You probably saw it on, I don't know, I think, was, was this on last year's mid-year? But it was definitely on this year's Spydeco uh, 2019 catalog where they have changed things up. They're not giving you a lot of future looks at knives. They're giving you the knives that they expect to deliver. And they just delivered this one. It is one of the flippers that I've been looking forward to, to having. So let's talk about this. You've already seen that <laughs> it, it's a flipper. Well, it does, it does three ways of opening it, okay? Three ways. It's a flipper. It just flips out there with this four-inch blade. It just slips out there. It's a real nice flipper. It's on phosphor, uh, phosphorus washers and ball bearings. It's super smooth, super smooth. Flips out there great. You can see, you can't deny seeing... <laughs> The Emerson opener that's built onto the blade. The Emerson opener, uh, Spydeco has used on a number of knives, and a lot of other people have too. That's when, when you have it in your pocket and you lift it up, the clip is only right hand tip up only. And it's tip up, this will catch your pocket coming out and it will release the blade quickly. So it's a built-in Emerson opener. We can talk a little bit about was Spydeco trying to do too much with this or not, but it is an Emerson opener. And I know a lot of people like that for a quick kind of draw on it, but it is a flipper, which almost by definition is a quick draw <laughs> opening device. So you have a flipper, you do have, usually I've seen the Emerson opener on, you know, Spydeco's that just have a spidey hole. Um, in this case, it's a flipper with an Emerson opener. I don't know. To me, it seems a little strange. But there you have it, and it does work. And then the third way is with the spidey hole, just a regular open. Now, a couple of things about this about these three openers that I want to talk about. First of all, the flipper is wonderful. It's smooth, it's fast, it snaps out there. It's just really a wonderful deployment. The Emerson works. Um, I just have a thing about an Emerson opener when you have a flipper um, because as soon as you pull it out, you can flip it. So that, I just have a little problem and it's not like it makes it look beautiful to have that Emerson opener on the blade like that, but to each its own. Here's the strangest thing to me, and you guys know I collect, I've literally have collected most of the Spydeco knives over the past three and a half, four years. Um, and you've seen my collection, just go on the knife of the day and take a look at it. Um, here's my thing. I love the low profile of the hole. See how small the hole is? It's easy to open. It's smooth, it's easy to open just with the hole. They make a room in the handle so that you can reach the hole and open it. It's real smooth. Now again, it's already a flipper. <laughs> you already have the Emerson opener. So the Emerson opener is already on it. So most of the time, you won't even get a chance to use the flipper because by the time you get out of your pocket, it's already open. Um, and then the spidey hole is a great deployment. But here's the thing for me with the spidey hole because I love when Spydeco has these low profile blades when they're in the handle. A big part of Spydeco's designs, let me give you like this, has a hump to accommodate a big spidey hole 
Now, again, a big hole is great if you're wearing gloves, whatever. But if you can make a hole that small that even with my fat Michelin Man hands, is super easy to deploy a blade. How about giving us more low profile blades? Stop the weird, <laughs> you know, again, this is coming from a Spyderco fan, okay? But if it's so easy for you on a knife that doesn't even need to be opened with a Spyderco hole, you got two other options, the Emerson opener or the flipper, but stop taking up so much of my pocket space with these big humps on the knife for Spyderco openers. Stop it. Give me a small hole that I can deploy the blade just as quick. I'd like to see that because I love, they have done that on a number of uh, Spydecos, you know, um, but I would love to see something like that. The Spydeco Air is a beautiful pocket gentleman's folder that's flat. There's a lot of flat knives, so please look into that. So it has three openers. Here's something else surrounding the... Okay, so there's a lot going on with this knife. By the way, I like the knife. I'm just showing you the openers. I could have done without the Emerson opener because it's a flipper, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, the blade is S30V steel. It is a full flat ground blade. Four inch blade, it's a big one. I'm going to compare it to the military and the paramilitary so you can see the size. It's a nice big knife, but it feels great in the hand. It's super smooth. 9.1 inches total, so it's a big knife. 4.1 ounces, like I said, it is really, really um, has a super embedded liners that are skeletonized so they really took off a lot of the steel on the embedded liners it is a compression lock flipper <laughs> so they just threw everything in there emerson opener flipper can open it with spyderco and a compression lock i've told you one of the problems i have with the compression lock it is as smooth as silk by the way but man that flipper keeps hitting my finger in there now, I know people say you can get used to it, you can move it, but I have a lot of different knives, and I just have a problem with it hitting all the time because it's so smooth. And I know if you can get it, some of the knives, I get the finger out of the way quicker than the others, but that's the only thing. I love compression lock, so if you can put a compression lock on every knife, that's great. But these compression locks and... Uh, flippers do have a problem with that tab hitting your finger for you to move it. Now on this knife, it's kind of good that it does that because let me show you, let me see if I can show you this. So it comes through the compression lock. See the flipper hit my fingers. Just said, move your finger, Kevin. It's as smooth as silk. It comes out and then I'm going to show you something. You see that? That's the edge of the blade right here. It is. So please don't miss the flipper. Some days I'm being lazy and I miss the flipper. You can cut yourself on that. See that? Now some people will say, yeah, Kevin, but you know. I mean, that literally is the bottom of that blade. Super sharp spiderco blade exposed right here through that. I Look. Did I cut myself? No, I don't cut myself because that flipper bumps into my finger for me to move the finger. It's just too much though, okay? I don't think it should be exposed that way. I just don't, that's me. Um, something to look at, um, and I'm talking about the negatives because I just think some of this, you know, like they almost had it too much. However, the thing is smooth as silk. It is smooth as silk right out of the box. I was expecting this on Saturday. I was frustrated. It didn't come in on Saturday. It came in on Sunday. I literally took it out of the box two minutes before doing this video. And it is as smooth as can be. So 
you got a compression lock, you got a flipper, you got an Emerson opener, you got a regular opener with a small hole. Spydeco, please, smaller holes on knives for that lower profile. That would be great. It just is great in the pocket. It looks nice. That's really wonderful. The blade has a real funky uh, shape. It's full flat ground, but man, I like it. <laughs> this can really be a, a tactical knife, as well as an EDC knife. You know, the fact that it does have that low, you can put your finger on top of this area here and just work it. It, it would work if you like larger knives. Now, part of the thing that I really love, and it's just a favorite of mine, is Spydeco and their Smooth G10 handles. I'm a huge fan of that. This has kind of a 3D shape. It's not flat. And Smooth G10 black is just so wonderful. Spydeco makes it. I love their Smooth G10 handles on fixed blades or on their folders it's just beautiful it's classy it feels great in the hand i think it's the best treatment of g10 on a handle that i've seen and they use this often a number of their ethnic series knives uh, a number of their fixed blade knives i just love it regular clip the clip is only right hand tip up only white right hand tip up only and one reason it's tip up is of course, for the Emerson opener. And probably has to do with the compression lock as well. I hate getting nudged by the flipper, but it's not that big of a deal because that flipper is smooth and everything else is smooth. I just want you to know that I've noted that blade right there, bottom blade, not good. They have a G10 backspacer as well but still a lot of room to make it easy to clean, a lot of see-through. Just a real nice knife. Brand new from Spydeco. Yeah, brand new from Spydeco. It's the Spydeco Tropen with three different ways of opening. Emerson opener, a wonderful flipper. It's on uh, washers with uh, a ball bearings and it's smooth as silk. Just smooth as silk. Big blade, four inches, S30V steel. And for some reason, I think because of this open right here, if you've noticed, I've always gone here like it's going to be <laughs> either a frame lock or a liner lock. Uh, it's kind of like just hand memory. Every time it opens, I go here to close it because it has so much of an open here. But it's great as a forward choil, deep forward choil. And having that Emerson lock, you know, you can't have a, it's a good purchase right here. Probably would be nice to have a little jimping there even. Just a nice purchase there if you want to hit there. But of course, you can sneak up and do some work with this finger. Lot going on. No lanyard hole. I'm not a lanyard guy. Um, but other than that, man, it's a lot going on on this Spydeco Tropin, but I'm so happy to have it. I'm thrilled to be able to share it with you. Just gonna compare it with the Paramilitary 2. Trying to line up the edges and the Military. So you can get a feel of that size. It's pretty much the Military size. It's a big knife. Slim profile because of that low Spydeco hole. Um, and boy, when you take it out of your pants, <laughs> that Emerson open does open up that blade. There you have it. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. It takes only a couple of seconds. It really helps me out. And once you subscribe, there's a little bell. Hit it. That's notification. That's how Spydeco does it. I mean, Spydeco. That's how YouTube does it now. They won't, even though you subscribe, they won't let you know I put up a video unless you hit that little bell and you know i'm just getting off of a cold and a vacation so it's been a little erratic <laughs> i have one more new knife 
This came with two new knives, and I think I have another new one coming this week. They haven't given official notice yet, so uh, maybe later in the week. I well, really appreciate you guys. Um, I really do. Thank you very much for helping me build this community where we can just have fun with knives. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're taking care of yourselves in this cold weather. It's not the cold to get you sick. It's all that heat that you have in your car and in the buildings, then back out in the cold to get you. <laughs> you guys take good care of yourselves and your friends and families, okay? But take care of you first. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.